I wonder if you could tell, tell me a little bit more, frame your work in California, in, sort of in terms of college completion and, and where you see yourself right now in that work. Well, I'd rather talk about it nationally, and because uh, uh, my work with the Gates Foundation is really national, and my position in California is uh, chairman of the president of the K-12 uh, State Board of Education. So uh, my actual interest in college completion is is uh, much more national, and our our uh, work is come, focuses on trying to understand. Uh, the broad access sector beyond just community colleges. In other words, if you looked at all the colleges in the, in the San, uh, San Francisco uh, Bay Area, post-secondary institutions uh, and colleges, there's an amazing array. I mean, there's everything from beauty colleges to Stanford University. And of the institutions there, very few are selective. So first of all, I think our, our the students that we're concerned with uh, are going to many different types of institutions, uh, public, uh, private, private for profit, nonprofit, and we don't really understand, if you will, the ecology and the characteristics, and we're trying to build a typology of all these different types of institutions. Uh, so I think the, the uh, focus in research has been on what we call the uh, demand side. A lot of work has been done on student aid, student flows through the system, student uh, placement, but very little work has been done on what economists call the supply side. Who are the institutions that are providing this? How do they differ? What are some of the typologies and characteristics that make them different from each other? Uh, and how does the community college fit into all these other uh, parts? Of course, we have workforce training, we have high school adult education, uh, we have and numerous other types of institutions that uh, are different from community colleges. So the main two goals are to understand better the post-secondary broad access sector and in an institutional sense, not in a student flow sense, and then uh, shift much more research to understanding uh, how the organizations of post-secondary education react to outside interventions and what they're trying to maximize internally. There's surprisingly little known about how community colleges make decisions within the college. You know, how, par how important are the faculties that are unionized, then there's an academic senate, then there's the various departments, and there's the programs, the adult ed. I mean, there's, there's all, just a dearth of even description on what's going on. So what we see policymakers and foundations doing is trying to set up uh, interventions and performance incentives operating largely with a knowledge of a black box. How do they, what are they configured like? Who's making decisions? What are the organizational cultures? How do these organizations learn? Very little known about that. So there, uh, I think that the community colleges is largely unexplored. Most of our studies in higher education are on research universities and how they operate, but that's not of great concern in terms of college completion. That's amazing. It makes it sound like it's the bottom of the ocean. We haven't been there. That, that's right. I, 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 well, it, it, there are people that uh, are mining it now in terms of looking at interventions like achieving the dream and so on. That's all very recent. If you look at the formal academic work and even the high-level consulting work, it was uh, in terms of doing research, not person-to-person -person consulting, publishing things. If you go into the public domain and look for publishing, uh, what's published, uh, it is research universities first, then the four-year uh, colleges, and then last is the community colleges. There's no academic tradition much of people saying, I'm a specialist in, in doing deep research on how community colleges operate. It's much easier for scholars to grab a database that is student flow oriented and manipulate some numbers and do correlations. The hard work to me is understanding what's inside the institutional black box. And that has not had academic prestige, nor had any real strong academic roots. 
Well, given that it might be a black box, uh, is there room to fail? Is there room to try something that appears risky? And, and how, how do we know we're measuring the right thing? Are, are there examples where this is, you, you see it going in the right direction, that there is something measurable that is, that is meaningful? Well, I think obviously some of the momentum points idea that's here in the state of Washington uh, is on, are on the right track. Uh, but we're still trying to, uh, in our work, uh, and we're, we're, I, uh, we're not exploring exactly you, uh, what is, is working. What we're trying to do at this point is understand what these organizations are like and then result, then align it to what is working a little bit better. Uh, we know that certain institutional cultures are important. Uh, why does the momentum points in Washington State have state leadership but not down in California? Uh, what is different there? So we're also looking at the governance systems and the importance of those. Uh, and I think a lot of what's going on now is trial and error. You try things and see if it works, and if it doesn't, uh, you go on and try something different. And if it does work, you deepen it and do that. Uh, part of our work at Stanford is to try and move beyond that uh, into really understanding more in a more predictable way how uh, community colleges as organizations and institutions uh, interact with their environment and moreover how, whether they feel threatened by the rising for-profit sector what they see that as, and looking at what we call the ecology. Certain institutions are growing, some are more static. What's, what's that and why, how could we mine that and use that to bring about change? From, from your perspective, are you seeing that the definition uh, or the, the perception of the value of college is changing right now? That there, there are these questions about whether college has the same value, should everyone go? and. Yeah, my own take on that is, and I've been around a long time, uh, started in this work in 1964, you get this work Va uh, questioning the value of colleges during recessions. People can't get jobs, and I believe it is related to cyclical nature, and once the economy hopefully comes back, I think there'll be much less talk about this. Uh, so I regard this as, I've seen this before in, down, in economic downturns, and I, so I don't think it's anything really lasting, uh, but it'll be intense during this long recovery period we have. 